me forever to get these medications because I just like wasn't super excited about taking them. I was maybe paranoid, maybe it was the paranoia, um, but I was scared that like, I don't know, I wasn't if, like, afraid people like would see me taking medications because I've always been on medications, but I was scared that like they would harm me in some way or that like my life would change dramatically without mania and that without mania, I wouldn't be able to get my work done, I wouldn't be able to graduate, or without mania, I would be like a different person because mania, as you know, feels amazing and you get so much done and I really don't want to lose that side of me. So I think that's honestly why I stopped taking, like why I, didn't want, why I did not want to take medication, but it comes to the point where like mania is also ruining my life. I'm poor as crap right now um, and depression sucks even harder. <laughs> I was actually prescribed lithium last week. Uh, I like, you know, realized I've actually had this appointment for the past month. Um, and I realized this was like in February that, you know, I had tried Tegretol, I tried Abilify. Um, I wasn't keeping up with like my like healthy regimen in terms of like working out, eating good, going to bed on time, um, not drinking. Like I had done all these things in order to stay off of medicine because I was like, you know what, technically, you know, these things really aren't that great for you. And I've never had side effects from any medication until I started taking like antipsychotics and anticonvulsants and all that for like mood stabilizer and all that for like bipolar disorder. And I'd never had a side effect, never. And I've taken like almost every antidepressant there was out there because I was, you know, diagnosed as major depressive. So that kind of freaked me out because my body doesn't normally respond that way. And it also just sucks because like Tegretol, like put like little like warts, not warts, but like bumps in my mouth and like made my skin break out into rashes. It was like the absolute worst. Um, but now I am taking lithium. So it is 300 milligrams and I am to take one tab um, by mouth um, before I go to bed um, for four days. And then I up it to two tabs um, for four days. And then I fi finish at three tabs. Um, and then that's by that time I should be visit my doctor and it should start kicking in and working um so that's about three to four weeks um so three times 300 i did sleep a lot last night um which i'm not sure sure if it has anything to do with the medication because i like literally just took it last night um but i did not hear my alarm clock go off and that's like not normal normally like i'm so happy i didn't have to work today because i was freaking out um but most times I hear my alarm clock unless I took like Xanax or something and I did not take Xanax. All I took was lithium and gabapentin. So gabapentin uh, is also known as neurotonin. Um, I'm supposed to take half to one tablet by mouth every eight hours. Um, so this is actually very interesting that I'm taking this. Uh, I did a little bit of research on it and it's not currently approved by the FDA for anxiety, but my doctor says that, you know, there's been studies that show that, you know, it could work with bipolar disorder as, you know, an add-on medication um, to help people focus better, uh, you know, bring down anxiety. Um, it's used mostly as, from what I understand, as an anti-inflammatory for pain. Um, so I'm not really sure if it's for neurological pain because I have a lot of that. I think it's more so for, like, physical pain. Um, but I will continue to research this slash see how this affects me i'm really excited um because you know it's different from other medications and it's you know it's added on to the lithium you know help build that um so you know i'm optimistic uh, it does say you know may cause drowsiness so i'm hoping that this is what like you know helped me sleep last night but then again i'm not really sure if gabapentin like works like that um but you guys the sleep oh my sleep last maybe i was just really tired um the sleep last night i can't i can't stress that enough it was Phenomenal. So, and for, I just like took the time to look up gabapentin because I'm pretty sure I read that it was not FDA approved for anxiety, but it looks like it is like FDA approved as like an anti-convulsant because that's what it is. Um, so I don't really know where I read that. So take that with a grain of salt. This might be totally fine, but I have been reading that it is being increasingly used um, to, you know, be with lithium and to help mood stabilization. So that's great. Um, I'm looking forward to, you know, what this thing can do, and we should see how that goes. Um, I'm not the biggest science person, so I really don't know what a lot of these medications do, and I'm just trying to learn, but it's, like, so much complications, and, like, they're talking about science crap, and I don't really know anything about that. Um, I do know lithium um, specifically helps, you know, it's a mood stabilizer, and it will help regulate my mood by 
um, regulating the chemicals in my brain. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't really know beyond that. Um, but the thing I was afraid about lithium is, is that it does have side effects. Uh, I was reading that like 75% of people who take lithium experience some form of side effects. Um, and I don't like side effects, regardless of what they are. Like Abilify didn't give me warts in my mouth and didn't like make my skin break out into a rash and I wasn't all itchy like I was on Tegretol. But it did make me super, super drowsy in the sense that like I was falling asleep at dinner and like it wasn't like I was just tired. I was like, I could not stay awake. I was like literally like wanting to cry at dinner. I was like, I'm so tired. I just, please just sleep here. What's going on? Um, it also made me use the bathroom a lot, which I didn't realize slash wasn't a problem until I realized it because I was like, I haven't really drank anything today. Why do I have to go to the bathroom like every 40 minutes? This is weird. Um, because I go to the bathroom, I try, <laughs> I've trained myself to go to the bathroom twice, um, twice a day. That might be bad, might not be. But in elementary school, uh, the bathrooms were gross. So I used the bathroom once when I went home or in the morning and I would use the bathroom when I got home. And then from there, I probably used the bathroom multiple times or whatever. But like, I just didn't use the bathroom from like nine to three thirty because like school bathrooms were off. Um, so I am also taking, which I do not have yet, um, NAS or NAC or nasiltycetine, whatever that is, um, for I'm thinking 1800 to 2000 milligrams a day. So NAS or NAC, I'm pretty also excited about because it is, I think it's a more of like a supplement actually supplement slash like an amino acid so that's completely different from lithium or gabapentin in the sense that like um you can buy that on amazon so and it's like not as like not invasive is not the word i'm looking for but um more natural maybe um i think that's something i really wanted to do i really wanted to try to take other natural things instead of like just loading me up with you know a whole bunch of drugs um but beyond like NAS, which is supposed to, you know, sort of help my anxiety apparently, or, you know, um, the studies say that, you know, it could help sort of my memory um, and sort of my thoughts and what sort of what's going on there. So like in one study, it was saying that NAS or NAC or however you want to say it, um, showed like improvement of working memory with people with bipolar disorder that was hard to treat. Um, and like that seems pretty good and that it can sort of, you know, help sort of the psychosis and mania parts of it, especially while taking lithium um, and terms of learning, memory, and just information processing, um, which I think would be <laughs> like hella beneficial because sometimes I will just be having a conversation. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. If you watched any of my videos, I'll just be talking about something and then all of a sudden I'll be like, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, and that's completely new for me and rather annoying. Um, I'll be in conversations and legit, I'll just be like, I have no idea. We were talking about this 20 seconds ago and I can't remember what we were talking about. I can't, like, you're, you're, you're talking, but like, I have no idea what you're saying. I just see like words moving and I'll try, but like, I just, I can't. Um, so that's been super annoying in terms of having to tell people to restart their conversations or like I'll just lose my train of thought in class and I just look dumb. Um, so I'm happy to see how NAS will work for me. Um, the next thing which I also don't have is Selexin, uh, which is also a, another natural form. I have a, I have a sheet right here to read. Um, Selexin, or it's, it's S-I-L-E-X-A-N. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it, Selexin, or Calm Aid, which I think is like the brand name. Um, it's a medication in Germany where it has been used for many years to treat anxiety. In American in America, selection is not available by prescription, but can only be obtained over the counter as a national extract of lavender. So, um, selection should work with anxiety. I'm gonna go pick that up, or you know, order that on Amazon today. Hopefully, um, I'm. Oh. Selexin is not regulated by the FDA. So maybe this is the one that's not regulated by the FDA, which makes sense if it's just an extract. Um, but in Germany, it does have a government approval for anxiety. It's the brand, it's the brand name um, Lacia or L-A-S-E-A. -E um, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, I've tried anti, I've tried like anxiety meds before. I can't remember the exact names of it. Like I think it started with a C. Maybe it was like, it wasn't Selexa. Maybe it was, I don't know, or something i don't know i just remember all the anxiety pills that i've tried or all the antidepressants that you know also work for anxiety or the like that bipolar stabilizations that also work for anxiety have not really worked out so like gabapentin 
I'm pretty sure that this is supposed to be used in conjunction with lithium to help anxiety. I'm not really convinced that it will help me because I've tried like everything. Yeah, so selection, as soon as I get that, that's super exciting in terms that like if I can find something that helps my anxiety, like my life would be 10 times better because I don't have to like pause or stop or freak out over every little thing. Like freak out that my Google Calendar is like unorganized and like I can't like think straight by seeing it or freak out when I see the library and like want to like turn back or like just like being like panicky and anxiety about like random things that cause me to like sit on that couch and not do anything. Um, anxiety sucks. So I'm excited for Selexin. We'll see how that works. I'm gonna get the Selexin and NAS or NAC, I don't know. I'm gonna say, it's just gonna be called NAS. Uh, I'm gonna get those hopefully this week, um, but I've started the lithium and gabapentin last night. So we'll see how these start to work within four weeks. Hopefully it's not, you know, a terrible time these next four weeks. I really just wish this stuff could kick in. But I do understand that, you know, it takes some time to like, work its magic maybe. Um, lastly, I'll be taking, which I've been on and off, I just like honestly am lazy. This is like probably good for anybody to take. <laughs> um, I'll be taking fish oil, omega-3, uh, which is good just in terms of mood regulation and nutrition. Don't really know why we take it. Um, but I took um, fish oil before I was even diagnosed as bipolar. So I think it's good for the skin too. I don't really know. Um, but if you're not eating salmon, you should probably, you know, get some omega-3s in you. Regardless, I'm taking a thousand milligrams each day of this or will be. Um, so yeah. So that's my new regimen for, you know, dealing with this stuff. It's NAS or NAC, which is nasitylacysteine. Um, I'll be taking lithium. Um, I'll be taking neurotonin or gabapentin. I'll be taking lavender selection in the form of the extract that you can get on Amazon. And I'll be taking omega-3 fish oils. So I'm excited for this new regimen. Um, I'm supposed to get off of Adderall. I'm not supposed to be taking Adderall anymore. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that because Adderall helps me do my work and I'm about to graduate. And if I don't graduate because I'm not taking Adderall and I can't focus, uh, things will not be great. Um, and then he didn't really say what I was supposed to do with the Xanax. Uh, so I don't really take Xanax like that anyway. But just know if I do have a panic attack, I'm going to take it because it helps <laughs> um, stop panic attacks in its tracks. But I probably should also look to make sure like it doesn't interact with any of these medications. That's the problem also that just like scares me about taking all these is that like these are all like, well, not all of them, but a lot of these are like like lithium. It's a very powerful drug. Um, gabapentin, gabapentin. Maybe not super powerful, but like it's still a drug that like <laughs> these pills are huge. Ugh. <laughs> like this shit. It's big. <laughs> See, this is like, when I got this. I thought this was a lithium bottle. It's not. Um, so maybe gabapentin is like you know strong too. Cause it, I mean it is an anticonvulsant. But anyway, um, yeah. So. We'll see how this stuff works out. Uh, I appreciate you guys, you know, listening to my little regimen I'm going on and hopefully I'll stick to it. Hopefully things work out for the best. I'm optimistic. I'm also feeling good today, so I'm not super like pessimistic about